What's up college football fans? Welcome to another QB Spotlight video. Today's video, the Ohio State quarterback competition. Kyle McCord, Devin Brown, we're gonna talk about each guy and what they bring to the table and look at some film from each guy and can do a, a deep-ish kind of dive on McCord because he has some clips from college. But before we do, as always, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like any quarterback related content, we put our quarterback podcast where we interview current and former college quarterbacks as well as pro quarterbacks and of course we do film breakdowns and anything related to the quarterback position it's fair game here so just consider subscribing to the channel so real quick let's go ahead and just dive into it we got kyle mccord right the backup quarterback last year the probable favorite uh in this quarterback competition but even with that said i wouldn't rule out Devin brown by any means i think it's going to be a competition that's going all the way to fall uh or by the time you watch this video maybe someone's already named who the hell knows but kyle mccord Back up last year, he started in what 2021. I think he had one start I think against, against Akron. He killed it, but Akron was very good. So still did great, and then in the mop-up duty last year uh, did, did really well. High completion percentage, threw some touchdowns. Uh, was like 16 of 20. I think he didn't have that many attempts, uh, but still you like seeing that high completion percentage. The big takeaway from McCore, besides being Gatorade Player of the Year, uh, high school teammates with Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean a lot of you know accolades around him but so far in college he's shown the experience in the offense and being able to run the offense being kind of comfortable and familiar with it that's probably where he has a step up of Devin Brown he has a starting he has one game starting experience and then even like in some of these clips we're about to watch it's basic easy stuff but it's because he knows the offense the ball comes out on time he's able to do the, ba the basic stuff uh well right so again Kyle McCord that's kind of his his I think Steph on Devin Brown right now, he's been there longer, has the experience, uh, and he's able to run the offense inefficiently so far. Uh, with Devin Brown, on the other hand, being the incoming, well not incoming, but being a, being a freshman last year, being an extremely high recruit, probably a bit more athletic than, than McCord. And we're gonna talk more about Devin Brown later on the video. Uh, McCord probably has a, maybe a bit more um, different type of tools, not more tools necessarily, but maybe different types, just for the simple fact he's probably a bit more athletic, uh, but McCord can really spin it from the pockets. With that said, we're gonna look at some clips from McCord. We're gonna dive down into maybe three or four clips and, and really look at the the plays and why we think he's you know really familiar and comfortable with with offense and of course with with brown we're just gonna look at some high school clips uh so let's go ahead and dive into mccord film and, and some backup uh, time some, some, some mop up duty against toledo it's gonna be a deep long out here right as you see the db inside technique this is where the throw obviously is but it's a long throw right so i think it shows his arm strength of course we all know he's got strong arm and he five-star recruit's gonna have a pretty strong arm right no surprise there still showing it ball comes out right as the receiver stopping i'm sorry it's a little pitch out receiver stopping slowing down boom ball comes out right so just like we talked about in the video mccord does have more experience in that in that offense although um although brown has been there as well right so here's another angle and then we'll watch maybe maybe two or three more clips uh, of mccord playing uh, getting some mop-up duty right, so here we go here boom ball gets out long throw Hit your guy, good timing pattern, uh, get upfield. Let's go watch maybe two or three more. Another route, kind of similar to the last one, it's gonna be a quick fake read or fake uh, handoff here. Ball comes out quick, right? So again, nothing nothing too crazy. It's mop up duty again against Toledo, but I think it does a good job showing that he just has experience around the offense, right? Even if it's not a ton. Boom, boom, ball's already out as he's breaking, ball's pulled off coverage. That's the right read, right? So. Uh, yeah, you get experience in practice, but having game reps, I think, is crucial, even if it's mop-up time. So I think this experience from McCord was was pretty valuable last year. We'll watch this here. We're going to see right off the bat. McCord sees it. Boom. Quick fake. Ball's coming out quick. Get the ball out quick to your receiver. Right. Just a good example of good timing and good understanding of the offense. The touchdown pass from McCord. Last kind of clip will break down. Nothing really to break down, though, to be honest, but... Uh, showing him throwing a TD on the run, right? But it's really all about the de defense getting out of position, right? They all bite on the run. A court comes out. Going to be a wide open receiver here. Boom, boom. Throwing the run. Boom. Nice, good throw. And then the receiver takes care of the rest, right? For a touchdown. So we'll watch the behind the center uh, angle just so you can check it out real quick. Uh, so again, nothing nothing too too crazy here, right? The defense bites out. And I do think it's a good example of showing whoever does end up wearing this quarterback job um uh, there's this should be some schemed up receivers regardless who they're playing but again just an example of showing mccord throwing on the run 
All right, so here we got some clips of, of Devin Brown. Again, like we said in the beginning of the video, it's high school, take it with a grain of salt, but it's gonna give a, a, an example, at least the qualities that he has, right? You're gonna see he's a decent athlete, right? Like this move right here, able to to, to, to run the end zone, make a guy miss, uh, can really throw up from the pocket like most of these five-star, four-star recruits can, right? So he, here's his recruiting report from 247. For anyone that doesn't know, um, I'll kind of just give a, a, a brief kind of breakdown of what they say. They, they, they call him a dynamic quarterback with a basketball background. Shows a very good arm and zip on passes. Flashes ability to make off-platform throws without losing velocity. Uh, can distribute the ball at all levels. Mechanically sound, quick release of the football. Athletic and tough enough to plant his foot and gain yards with his legs. Uh, and they go on to, to talk more about him. They compare him to current NFL quarterback Sam Darnold, which, which actually isn't a bad comparison. Um, but like, like you see here in these clips, pushing the ball downfield. And the thing that stands out to me, uh, even though it's high school clips, like, like that throw right there, long, deep out, right? Big, strong arm, but it's the anticipation factor and the ability to be accurate throwing the ball downfield. Then you see a, a clip like that, able to use his legs. He's not going to be be a burner by any means, but if he can run like, you know, like a CJ Stroud or uh, somewhere between Stroud and Justin Fields, and I think that's, that's more than enough, right? Um, like able to throw in the run, what you just saw right there. So like we said in the beginning of the video, just doesn't have the experience McCord has, right? But the way you get experience is getting opportunities to to play. Like that that play right there is a hell of a play, even again, even in high school, getting out of the pocket, breaking the tackle. Uh, his biggest thing, he's probably not as big as McCord. Um, a buck 90 he's probably gained some weight since since high school uh but again athletic quarterback can really throw it uh it, it, there's obviously opportunities there uh it just does not have the experience yet but i think this may be a closer comp than maybe we think who knows uh but just wanted to show a few clips of brown here so again just a few clips of each guy right we had some college clips of mccord that we broke down a bit more detail and then we had the highlight clips of devin brown and even the mccord is probably the favorite and, and what I tend to think, and my wild guess would be, is that he ends up starting the season. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Devin Brown started either, right? I think they're both really good quarterbacks. Uh, they both bring a lot of good things to the table. And whoever wins the starting job, McCord or Devin Brown, I think you're in a good position to succeed because one, you're at Ohio State, and two, you have a lot of talented weapons uh, around you. But again, uh, whoever wins, I think is going to be in a good position. But I want to hear from you. Do you think it's McCord? Do you think it's Brown? And McCord leads right now. But let us know in the comments below who you think will win this starting job. Any other Ohio State thoughts, quarterback thoughts, is fair game here. And again, if you like quarterback content, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.